Whoa, okay. Um, I am sweating like a dog because it's midweek and no, it's not midweek, it's mid month and it is time to distribute rations. I had to carry all of this to the office on my own and therefore I am sweating like crazy right now. It's not even funny how heavy all this stuff is. Right, okay, so um, earlier today, I was at a conference and it was the National Family Violence Network System Conference, NSVNS, 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 NSVNS. Apparently this thing has been going on for several years now. They have a social media uh, campaign going on called Break the Silence. So if you go search hashtag Break the Silence SG, you'll find a really cool video here. Um, and it's about uh, this grandmother who is a neighbor to this family. The father is disciplining the child and is really harsh, schooling the child and everything. And so the grandma decides to take things into her own hands and uh, uh, do something about it. So go watch the video, it's quite cool. And uh, that's that's me. I'm that's me. I was at the uh, conference, and the really cool thing about this is that the you know if one thing that MSF did well, good job MSF. It's that they gave the coolest doggies. This is not a Swiss Army knife. This is a charging um, cable thingy magic. So it has iPhone, the new iPhone dongle, the iOS dongle, the Android mini USB dongle, and they even have the old iPhone uh, iPad dongle. So this is kind of like an all-in-one where you can, which you can use to charge your devices. So if you forget to bring your cable, all you need is just one, this one thing. There's a little switch behind here that tells you uh, which um, dongle is, is, it can be used to charge and to select between the three dongles. And that's it. I mean, you just keep this in your pocket. It's like a Swiss army knife. Um, keep it in your pocket, keep it in your bag. Anytime you need it. Good job, NSF! I guess you can, right? Um, I'm gonna just change this a little bit. Okay, ISO is gonna be a bit higher. ISO gonna be a bit higher. No, lower. No, not. No, okay, 400 will do. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, so there's this there's this thing where you have the waterfall and when you by the time you get to the waterfall and you know like it's really um, like stuff is happening already so that's um, there's a point of no return point of no return okay and uh, stuff happens and if you go past this point you will break things and if you will break things that's not good so this would be downstream, downstream, and this would be upstream, upstream. So what this guy suggests is to do more work upstream uh, before you actually get to this point where you go past the waterfall and then you go past the point of the return. And so there's a lot of stuff that we talked about like engaging the community, uh, doing 
asset-based community development. Asset-based means like identify people in the community that will come and you know talk for you, do stuff for you. Okay, that's great. Uh, you know that, that's always good. Um, my I, my thinking is uh, in order to do this upstream work, you have to kind of like communicate a language. That's like if you have a brand, say, must like what's an easy logo to draw? Okay, Nike, right? Nike. Yeah, they they have pretty good. Can you see the Nike? Nike. They have pretty good um, marketing and branding, right? And the reason why they can sell their products at such a high price is because people have the perceived value of their their product, and they get the message out very well, um, and therefore um, they they do very well as an organization because of branding. And my thinking is that you know you have to get people to talk the same language. So and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the stuff that they discuss as they are doing the upstream work and you know things to do in the community, you have to help people with their narrative. The messaging has to be that you know violence is not accepted. Uh, so a lot of it has to do with the messaging. Violence is not acceptable. Uh, and to help people understand, be able to uh, articulate the narrative, change the narrative. So a lot of this is going to do with languaging. And uh, what's one common language that people can uh, take to and understand really easily? Huh. ribbon which represents men against violence uh, towards women and how to use this white ribbon uh, basically step one wear it for a week from the 25th of November to the 1st of December uh, and join millions of men and boys around the world in opposing violence against women I why you would want to be violent against women I have no idea the only time that I was r r remotely violent towards a woman was when I was young and I was trying to cook something at home and my grandma kept um, preventing me from cooking and I, I, I was so frustrated with her I just kind of like um, grabbed her by the shoulders and wanted to push her away that was the only one time that I can remember that I was like violent to a woman 